Oh, hey, how y'all doing today? Uh, let's sit down and have a little talk. Some of us are going stir crazy. Need to get out and do some things. Uh, but please take your your time, your ca take caution on where you go. Uh, get out in the woods. Uh, go for a hike. Uh, bike ride on the trails. But just just do your social distancing. But uh, yeah, everybody's going stir crazy, so. I'm going to do a little video of some of my fire starting uh, stuff I, I use and it probably will not be all in one video uh, but my, the first one I want to do is to do a comparison and a uh, timing of um, cotton balls I had there was a video I watched just the other day a fellow uh, that had um, was out doing a, a bug out scenario they were off in the woods I ain't sure if it was it was a state park where I don't know that's up to me I ain't my business but he was using straight cotton balls which can be done but in windy situations burn time uh, it give you that time to get the the tenders and your your wood on and all that it's always best to use petroleum jelly mixed with your cotton balls uh, I'll put a link um, I think it'll be up here to the the video that uh, this fella so if you want to watch don't don't go there and criticize him but you know I'm just trying to help others out um, but I'm in the uh, bug out buggy and we're going to do this outside but first I got a couple shout outs I got it written down so uh, memory ain't like it used to be but uh, first shout out I want to do is to uh, Bushcraft Basics with Ben um, just starting a new channel got just over 200 and some odd subs at this time um, does great video work uh, for just starting out, maybe got, I th last think I counted with six, I'm not sure. But he's over there in the UK. He's just west of Leeds, north of uh, England. So, uh, north of London. Oh, might be my wrong. But, yeah, he's across the pond. So go ahead and go check him out. I'm going to put another card up there to his channel. And the other ones, if you want to get a good laugh, some folks down south, they're in northern Georgia. They go by Adventures and with Frank and Tina. They crack me up. You people are good people. I love it. But, uh, yeah, go ahead and check them out. And, again, I will leave a link up here in the corner, uh, a card for the, their channel. Plus, I'll put their uh, links in the description below but uh, yeah let's go set this up it's uh, gonna be a real nice day here in northwestern Pennsylvania they're talking up into the up into the uh, mid 60s today by mid-afternoon it's around 12 31 o'clock uh, so we're gonna go out and uh, it's a little breezy which is gonna be perfect for this this test what we're going to do is we're going to light co uh, dry cotton balls and compared to the I have a I have a, a tin which is just a snuff skin tin full of uh, cotton balls with Vaseline I'm having a hell of a time trying to get this to strike because uh, I'm hitting my hands on it but you're supposed to the easiest way, because if you have tenders, a little bundle of tenders, or a fire feather, or uh, anything small, and you pull, you push your knife into it, you're going to knock it off, 
knock it around best thing to do is pull your your fire steel away from your knife just holding your knife steady and shoot your sparks at it hopefully we get a light I'm gonna I'm gonna move it down here Not sure if we can. and then if you're not getting enough this is a stainless steel knife which is not best for spec I don't like using the blade in but I'm gonna scrape some of that off onto it did it nope there we are we'll bring it up there and I'll start the timer at uh, in the editing process of when it started burning. As you can see, it is windy. Okay, it's still burning just a little bit and the wind blew it out. I'm going to move it a little bit just to see. See, I roll it and I, it is still burning. There's still a little bit of cotton left in there, as you can see, but it is charred to the point to where you probably won't get that to relight. Now we're going to just take the standard dry cotton ball uh, and I am going to keep feeding as we go. I have a like eight or nine of them and try 
to uh, match the burn time of the one that we used with Vaseline petroleum jelly. Now I'll get my spark. You always want to knock the corrode the uh, oxidation off your ferro rod and. There it is, and you can see as already it's burning down very quickly, and I don't want it to go out, so I'll feed more to it as we go, and try to match them what I have I mean I if you figure even if you bunch it up tight in, into a container you're gonna go through a lot more uh, resources that you need if there is a bug out situation and the uh, the less you use, the better off you are. Yes, the petroleum jelly may take a little bit more to get lit with a ferro rod or uh, something in that lines, but I always carry a Bic lighter with me in my bug out bag. But if it gets wet, hey, it still lights with a with a with a ferro rod. So we'll just keep feeding, and uh, I'm gonna. See this one here is history. That one there's close. So if you want to try and get the twigs on, you know, and, and your your kin your kindling on to try to get it going, you're gonna need need to use a bunch at one time. So as you can see, we still are got a few little those there really ain't putting off, that one there really ain't putting off a flame anymore uh, that one it, it isn't either just because it burns the outer edges of the cotton ball and encloses the cotton inside which can't get oxygen to keep burning Well, that one there so I have two left we'll just put both of them in there because we already know the outcome of this this uh, experiment that you need to use a lot more resources to get your fire started Okay, that's just one of the little fire starting kits that I carry. Kind of do a little test just to show some uh, new folks that are getting into bushcraft and uh, survival on things that you can use for fire starting that you have around your house and make up a little uh, tin like I did here, sorry, uh, with the um, cotton balls with Vaseline on them. Uh, I still have five in here, and as you see, I burnt through probably, well, if I was counting right, probably eight to ten. Uh, I just grabbed a handful. But as a resource, you're going out into the woods during a bug out situation or in a multiple day uh, trip out into the woods, then uh, you're going to go through material fast if that's your only 
means that you are bringing with you for fire starting. Uh, but in our next one, I'm going to go through some more of my fire kits. So, yeah, if you like the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and not the finger. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. Click the bell notification. You'll get three pop-ups and click all. That'll tell you the next time I post a video. Go ahead and uh, leave a comment. And we will see you out there in the woods. Bye. But we're going to use this to put the uh, cotton balls in so I don't burn down my freaking table. and uh, Try not to catch my porch on fire. The old lady, she'd be all mad about that. And we're going to start this up and with the ferrule rod. And uh, I'll move these away so we don't catch them on fire. A little awkward with this. I might open that up. I'm hitting my hands on here and that ain't feeling too damn good. See, I got these on fire. <laughs> okay, calling the brigade. Boy, that freaking reeks. Phew. <laughs> Maybe I ought to have some water nearby, huh? 